Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I know it's been a little bit, but I'm back with another video. This time we're going to be looking at the Haya Toys Exquisite Basic Godzilla King of the Monsters Rodan. Um, this is the Flameborn version. So um, he's supposed to glow with UV light. Oh, he's coming out of his box already. He's supposed to glow with UV lights, um, so we'll test that out a little bit later. Um, I am going to do back-to-back -back reviews for this and the pre- or pre-evolved um, Godzilla from Godzilla X Kong. So for members only, you can get that whole video like uncut and everything, um, but I'll break it up into parts for everyone else. So make sure you, you know, subscribe and everything to the supers, whatever, whatever. But anyway, this is him. Um, so he's making good use of his like patch packaging space. Um, there is a flip it around. He has a stand here, um, so you can put it in. And so let's just bust him out here real quick. Um. I have a new desk set up, so hopefully it'll make videos a lot easier to um, like to film and to have stuff on hand and to make it seem more um, like me. So as you can see, we got some figures in the background there. Um, I thought they'd be more in frame, but that's fine. So. Here is Rodan. So his wings are flexible, which is really cool. He's got these little legs here. So that's really cool. Um, one second. As I was talking about how my new setup is so great, I realized that he was like really dark, wasn't lit up properly. So um, I had to fix that as best as I could. So hopefully this is showing up better for you guys. Um, but anyway, so let's just start with his head. Um, so he has a joint here at the bottom and then he has like a little middle connector piece here. And then this part articulates um, so you can bring it down this much, back that much, which is really good. Uh, his mouth opens, yes. He's got a little tongue in there, as you can see. If it will focus. All right. Final goji, you have to go back here. Um, tongue. So... Um, his arms are, well, his wings, I should say, are on like a rotation joint here. He's got the bendy wires all along the uh, arch of the wings up in here. Fingers are just kind of like a soft plastic. Um, so his torso, he's got a pretty good ab crunch. Um, as you can see, you can go like that. So you can do like attack poses, swivels probably all the way around, but I'm not gonna force it. Um, down here at the tail, it'll spin all the way around. Oh, it goes down way more than I thought. Back that far. And then as for his legs, um, is he see-through? No, okay. I was, I was like, whoa. Um, feet go back this far. forward really far Jesus so all the way down like that so really articulated um, which is good um, and I love the uh, bendable wings this is why I opted to wait for them to re-release this as opposed to um, like the monster arts or the um, the NECA or the bootleg NECA or whatever, because Hyatt Toys is killing it. Um, this is, I'm recording this after San Diego Comic-Con. So they revealed um, new figures. So they announced my boy uh, Millennium Godzilla, Godzilla 2000, who is uh, 
over there in the corner. Um, so super hype about that. Um, they also did GMK Godzilla. Um, they already announced Heisei, so hopefully they'll get to like minus one and stuff like that because the monster arts of that was pretty poopy. So, um, but Rodan looks sick. Um, really happy with him. He looks cool. Um, got a piece of lint on his wing, but he looks awesome. Let me do the, uh, the barrel roll. So you can so that's so cool and then let's get him in like an attack pose like when he was coming at Mothra or King Ghidorah awesome alright so I am going to grab his stand real quick so that he can stand, pun intended. Um, and then I'm going to turn down some of these lights and see if we can get him to glow. Um, it doesn't say anything on the packaging of that he's the Flameborn edition or anything like that. So when I pre-ordered him, I'm 90% sure that that's what I got. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... I guess I can't do his attack pose with the, with that stand. So, there he is, all pounced up. So let me turn this light off. Let me turn this light off. And then turn this light off. So you can see my mood lighting that I actually set up. Um, and then, yes sir. See that? That's so cool. I love that they do that. It's even up in his head. So sick. Hold on. Oh Lord. So yeah. That's super cool. I love that they do that. It's a cool gimmick. Um the Gravity Beam King Ghidorah has the same thing. Um I'm pretty sure or something very similar. Um so I do plan on getting him. I mentioned it, I think, in my Godzilla High Toys review. Um, but he's... I'm just waiting on Big Bad Toy Store to get him so that I can review him. Because I want that figure so bad. That's so cool. Um, I'm going to see if there's instructions. There's not. Um, that's unfortunate because there are little clips and little pieces for the stand, um, but I don't know what they're for. So I wish there was a way to make him, make the stand less obvious. Um, maybe I can do it this way.
Yeah, I guess this will work. Because um, I'm going to try and put them up on my Monsterverse shelf up there um, in the corner. Because I have Mothra. I'll just, let's just go up there. So I got Mothra, Godzilla, Kong, Shimo, Doug, Mechagodzilla, and uh, Scar King for right now. So um, I'm going to see if I can get Rodan up there. So give me one second. There we go. That was way more difficult than it probably should have been. But there he is up there. So I don't know where I'm going to put King Ghidorah, to be honest with you. He's going to take up that whole shelf just by himself. So that's going to be rough. Um, but, I mean, I'll probably get a normal normal monster so um i'll go more in depth about these um when i do that uh office tour but yeah so uh thank you guys godzilla will be next and then um that's it bye